Now, it's said that Korea's traditional chicken and ginseng soup helps Koreans stay energized during hot summer days. And now, after clearing a major regulatory hurdle and a few words of praise from Chinese celebrities and Premier Li Keqiang, no less, Samgyetang is set to hit, hit uh, store shelves in the world's second largest economy. Our Park Seung tells us more. This is Korea celebrating its first shipment of Samgyetang to China at the end of last month. After a 10-year effort, the nation was able to send over a combined 20 tons of the traditional chicken soup. Once customs are cleared, the samgyetang pouches will be on shelves at supermarkets in major cities like Shanghai. We expect these shipments to China will pave the way for samgyetang to be introduced throughout the world. After years of negotiations, Korea and China agreed on new quarantine rules for the dish last October. Then earlier this year, five domestic processing plants, including Harim, completed the registration process for producing samgyetang for export to China. The industry forecasts exports will reach $3 million this year and jump to five times that amount in three years, surpassing existing samgyetang markets in the U.S., Japan and Taiwan. Our goal for the Chinese market is to export $1 million worth this year, $3 million next year, and to eventually get up to $10 million. The Korean government plans to support samgyetang exports through promotional efforts at the state level and in the private sector. Park Se-young, Arirang News.